This is European Transmissions and Parts. Today we have a 2004 Mini Cooper Transmission, CVT Transmission. Now we show you how to dismantle this transmission. So this is from the 2004 model. For this fork, we turn it over and start removing the fork body. If you have any questions, give us a call at 770-888-1499. You can also visit our website at europeantransmissions.com. So, we remove the pin, then we take the oil filter out. And then you see here the false body. We have here all the golden bolts. We remove, we remove all the bolts. Only the four bolts we don't remove. You leave the bolts and all the other bolts we remove. Again, if you have any question, please call us at 770-888-1499. So we removed all the false bolts besides the four bolts. You don't remove them, otherwise the whole false body falls in parts and you, all the bolts and all the inside is all falls around. Now remove the wire from the shift valve and the wire from the torque sensor. Now you have the false body. We come to the false body in a different chapter. Now we have the whole transmission. If you need any soft parts or hard parts, give us a call at 770-888-1499. Or 770 888 1499 or send us an email through our website at europeantransmissions.com. So we take a little hammer to carefully Now the cover is removed. Then comes a little tricky part. You can see all the bolts in there from the pump. We remove all the bolts in the turn. Again, if you have any questions, you can always call us at 770. So turn around, because you have removed all the bolts for holding the pump down. And then here you have the pit tube in there, you need to turn the pit tube. 
we show you this in a little while more and now you can remove all the bolts here Then you just remove the cover, the splash sheet. And now you can see you have to turn the pit tube is normally in this location and you remove the bolt and after you remove the bolt you turn the pit tube in this position and then you can remove the speed wheel. This is a wheel for the pit tube. And then you can remove the pit tube. And then you can remove the longer pit tube. So far we removed. So far we removed two pit tubes. And now we remove the whole pump assembly. Don't forget inside the little spring washer between the pump and the housing. All parts are available, but be careful when you dismantle not to lose the parts. Some parts take longer to get. Now you remove this little rear cover. With four ports, so now you see here the two nuts for the two pulleys. We open them. Now you can stop the 